Muftu Bayezid from Kahraman Marash, home to Turkey's famed Marash ice cream, is weaving magic in India. He and his Indian partner, Khunen Akhtar, started the turquoise ice cream chain in 2016, which now has stores in several cities. I had a leather business and we used to export to Turkey. When I visited Turkey, I saw ice cream being sold at various places, but the biggest attraction was the fun. So I thought of bringing this concept to India. When we started the business, people said, wow, Turkish ice cream. Indians love Turkish food, be it Turkish ice cream, doner, kebab or falafel. Customers of all ages now line up at the Mall of India in Noida for a taste of Turkey and a bit of the fun. There is a lot of craze among my children. They keep searching for Turkish videos on YouTube. We come at least once a month because the children love the fun along with the ice cream. Entrepreneur and gemologist Nikhil Anand forayed into the restaurant industry in 2011 with a focus on Middle Eastern cuisine. He says the Turkish products on his menu are a great hit with his Indian and diplomatic clientele. So when it comes to sweets or kebabs, it's very similar to the Indian palate. And there's a few things which we import, some things which we can't grow here or make here organically or Turkish delights for that matter, which is our most highest selling product. Indians have uh, actually taken it very nicely uh, in the last 11 years since we've been here. While Indians have shared the love for Turkish delicacies for quite a long time, Turkish television drama is a recent phenomena. Dhania Rajendran is a prominent journalist in the southern city of Bangalore. And like many others, she became hooked on Turkish soaps during the COVID-19 lockdowns. While watching the dramas, she even learnt the language. I watched these serials for almost six months and then I went for a conference in uh, Vienna, a journalism conference, and I ended up sitting uh, in a table full of Turkish journalists and I could actually understand a bit of what they were speaking. And that was such a high for me and I realised that, hey, these serials uh, are not just about entertainment but they allow you to learn something, to learn about the food, the language, the culture. From coffee and ice cream to art and television dramas, there is an increasing fascination for Turkish culture in India. It has generated more interest in exploring a nation many call a bridge between East and West, with record number of Indian tourists flooding in this year. Smita Sharma, TRT World, New Delhi.